द बेस्ट ऑफ आई थ्री और द वर्स्ट ऑफ आई फाइव लेट्स फाइंड आउट हेलो गाइज इट्स आर ब्रिंगर हेयर एंड इफ यू आर नॉट लिविंग इन रॉक यू माइट ऑलरेडी नो दैट इंटर एव ऑलरेडी रिलीज देयर सेवन जनरेशन प्रोसेसर एंड मेड सम सीरियस चेंजेस इन इट लाइक हाई पोथ्रेडिड पेंटियम सी पी यू एंड ओवर क्लॉकेबल आई थ्री चिप एंड एज यू माइट ऑलरेडी नो द आई थ्री चिप्स आर कंसिडर टू बी वन ऑफ द बेस्ट सी पी यूज इन द मार्केट फॉर बजट पी सी गेमिंग सो वी कैंट पुल आवर सेल्फ फ्रॉम टेस्टिंग दिस न्यू i3 overclockable chip which is i3 7350k so this i3 processor as all the i3 processors have two core and four threads and have a massive base clock of 4.2 gigahertz and a overclockable speed of 4.8 gigahertz and with this massive clocks we have a massive price of 170 So for a fair testing in the real world scenario which is going to be gaming anyways we have to take a processor which is similarly priced so i have taken the i5 7400 which is retailing at 185 this i5 7400 processor have four cores as all the i5 processors have and a 3.0 gigahertz base clock and 3.5 gigahertz of boost clock so let's see some of our benchmarks As you can see even with its massive overclockable speeds of 4.8 gigahertz and a very high single core score the i3 7350k simply cannot beat the i5 7400 it gets very close like about 90% of the i5 performance but it still didn't touch that so conclusion time so the i3 7350k worth it I don't think so because even with the massive base clock and boost clock the K series processors have some serious disadvantages in them the first disadvantage is you have to get a very expensive motherboard like a Z170 motherboard or a X99 motherboard something like that to use a overclockable potential of that chip which is our main concern so if you want to try that processor you have to spend at least 50 extra bucks on your motherboard and second is the heating issues heating issues are well known for the k series processor so you have to spend some more money on a better cooler something about 20 to 30 dollar might work but i don't know what about the temperatures but it's going to be hot and the third disadvantage is that overclocking does shave off some life of your processor and many people can't easily overclock their chips so these are three concerns which makes i3 even more costlier and doesn't even make a better choice so if you are wasting that much money on a i3 overclockable chip you can simply get a i5 processor you are getting four physical cores I know that 3.0 gigahertz might sound a little slow but it have a turbo boost of 3.5 gigahertz so why are you wasting your money on the i3 processor go with the i5 7400 it's a very better choice hope you guys enjoyed this video because it takes a lot of time to make this i know it's a short one but still it takes a lot of time to make this because still there are guests in my family and the babies are crying in the background i have no idea what i'm talking about <sighs> anyways please hit like comment subscribe and share and if you don't know i am harbinger this is gbs the tech showdown and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye